Let me just try it and drop there. Okay, I didn't hit the target at all, so I tr have to try again. Again, okay, come on, that is a really bad showcase. Hey everyone, this is Vegas, and today I'm bringing you my Kickstarter preview of Pocket Book Adventures. This is a charming dungeon crawler you only need two things for, this book and a pencil or pen. Uh, this preview will be structured as follows. I will show you two rooms, the boss, and then the store before I'll tell you a bit more about the game and give you my review. As usual, I have included timestamps so you can jump to whatever parts most interest you. Bonus points if you watch the entire video. Also, a big, big thank you to Grumpy Spider Games for providing me with this really cool um, prototype preview copy. Very, very cool. So what is Pocket Book Adventures? This game is a solo only minimalistic dungeon crawler that's built for travel. Uh, you can explore dozens of maps. There's so many in here. Encounter unique monsters, uh, level up, grab loot, and do all of this with uh, this book. It fits comfortably in your pocket or purse. In this playthrough, I will not explain all rules in advance because you will see them as you play, but I'll show you the most important concepts now. So in general, this book starts as follows. Um, you have a few pages here with your rules. These are still the prototype rules. I will say something about those a little bit later. And then let me see here. And then the adventure starts. So um, we start in like one area. This is the grasslands here, for example. That's the area I am still in and that we will finish up today, actually, right? Um, and then you have like, the goals and the regional rules. And like the most important um, aspect you need to know is that you need to know how you move. That changes for each area. So for example, in the grasslands, you um, just choose um, a direction and then you go um, one to four steps in that direction. That is it. You cannot change direction, right? You can only um, do that one direction there. And that changes for um, the different areas. So let me just take uh, the wilderness, for example. Here you have a puzzle movement. So you need to just choose any cardinal direction. Then you move exactly four spaces. Um, and you cannot change direction. So you need to move four spaces. That sounds similar? Well... Let me just find something here. Um, here, for example, here, the ice fields, because they are slippery, right? Um, so it's a little bit more puzzly. It says choose any corner direction and move in a straight line until you hit terrain or a monster. So you can't, you can't stop in between, right? So you can't choose how far you move. And that changes throughout the entire game. That is pretty cool. So there's one thing you need to know here, we move one to four steps, that is it. And the second thing you need to know is um, like these, all these little symbols, right? So you can, you can pick up gold, you can get statuses by defeating enemies. I will show that to you how that works. Um, you can pick up items and um, also buy weapons and stuff. And then you also can heal and you can um, pick up keys for treasure chests and you can fight enemies. Uh, and that is where the cool thing comes in. Can I do this here like this? Yeah, it is possible. I might have to pull up the camera a little bit more, actually. Um, let's see if I can do that. But um, in general, um, you might think now, well, but how do you do that without dice? Well, this is where the pin comes in, right? So um, you always take your pen and then you look away. You just need to trust me and then you just drop your pen. Okay, that, that wasn't good, but... Uh, there we go, for example here, right? So, and now I um, hit this area here and this will tell me like how much damage I receive, if there are any status effects and whatever. And the same happens also when I pick something up on the map, like a treasure chest, then I go here on the treasure chest and then I try to hit the target like this, right? Um, and this is how this works, right? Um, so instead of, a, instead of dice, you just need this pin and you do this like this dexterity based uh, without looking, right? trying to hit the target. This is a really cool concept. Um, at first I thought it was a little bit gimmicky, but it actually works quite well. But I will talk about that a little bit later. And that is, um, and then you can also gain stars. These are just for the uh, ranking at the very end of the book of the entire adventure, which as you might guess, <laughs> would take a little while. Um, but uh, how, many, how many enemies you defeated, how much health you lost, and how um, often you stopped, right? So how, how much you walked, so to speak. Um, these things are also important. And then um, you have like a max HP and your HP value, you have gold, items, weapon, and status, and all of that. When you're done, there's like this arrow here. When you cross over that arrow, then you finish the map, and then you take all your HP, gold, status that you have at the moment, and you 
put them in here for the next round. And that is pretty much it, right? That is pretty much it. Um, so I will show you two of these um, two of these areas. I said rooms in the beginning, but of course these are not rooms in the grasslands. But I will show you two areas. Um, I will show you a boss fight, and then I will show you like um, the in uh, uh, the in doctor shop phase. Um, and I think then you have a pretty good picture of how this game works. All right. So um, without much further ado, let's start. So you see, I've already played quite a few areas here in preparation for this video. And we should be now in area seven or eight. Let me see. Um, we are now in area seven. Oh, actually, no. Um, I did it differently. Sorry. Um, my plan was to show you two areas and then the boss fight. But I think one area is enough. So you know how it works, right? That's why I played one more area um, in advance for this video. So um, we can get started with, uh, with just only one area. That is enough. Okay, so let me show you how that works. So, um, of course, minor spoilers, but um, I think it's not that bad. So you don't need to do that, what I do, but I always like to kind of fill that out here. So that, you see that little figure here, that is where we start. Remember, in the grasslands, we move one to four steps into any direction without changing uh, without changing direction. And I will, I will pretty much try to do as much stuff here as possible to show you how the game works. I hope I will not die. So um, we started with um, HP of five at the very beginning of the adventure. Now I have, um, I now have a start uh, a max HP of nine. I still have six of those, so I still need to heal a little bit, if possible. I have forty-one gold, which is a lot. Um, we have a status sting that is only relevant for the um, Gekalex, um, um enemy here. We have two pixie dust. Um, with pixie dust, I can just heal two HP at any time. And we have a healing staff. That is the weapon that I bought um, like a few um, a few sessions ago, so to speak, like a few areas ago. Um, the healing staff allows me to pick three hearts on the map before I start playing, put a little plus into them, and then this heart will heal me for two HP instead of one. Um, that is really good. Um, so let me see. Um, I, will, I will have to heal at the beginning. So I might have to go here defeat that crab um, so I might still get a little bit of HP so let me get like 2 HP here and then 2 HP up here and then I think we're gonna be fine here for a little while I will definitely need HP here I think I will get that key for that chest here just so I can show you how that works so I will also put a plus there so now these three hearts I should definitely get those because they heal me for two instead of one HP Okay, and that's pretty much it. And now we get started. Um, so uh, so what, what we do is we indicate the movement and then we put like an X or any um, any indication where we currently are. What I usually do is I um, put like a box around it because boxes are really easy to um, count because I will also have to cross out like items and enemies, right? Um, that I've already defeated or picked up. So I think this is, for me, this is the better thing. Um, and then I will move down here. That is a coin, so I will cross that out and we will get one gold. So that is now 42 gold. Uh, and then this enemy is a little bit bad here because this enemy is, if I hit one of these uh, shaded areas, it says sting and it says if you are already afflicted with sting, take three extra damage. That is a lot of damage. So what I could do, and I think I will do that, I will go back up here. I will go here and then I will go over here to that heart, right? So one, two, three, four and get that heart. So I passed over that coin, that coin, well, it just gives me another gold. So I'm now at 43 and then uh, the heart will heal me for two. So I'm now at eight HP. My max HP is nine. Okay. So that is pretty good. Um, and now, I am in one of the eight surrounding squares of an enemy that um, that crab here, crew bag, um, which has the ability drench. Drench takes one. I take one extra damage if I hit one of these um, shaded ones here um, for each water space surrounding me. There is no water space surrounding me because I didn't stop on these uh, on these um, squares. That's why I stopped here. Okay, so um, we will now fight that enemy. How that works is we will always defeat that enemy, right? I just need to see how much damage I receive. So I start at the, you see these little points here under the name of the enemies. 
Let me just put that a little more center. So I will start here. And then you have to promise me that I will not look, right? I mean, I can't prove that, but just trust me. And then I, then you just pick up your pen and without looking, you drop it. Let me just drop it. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't straight. It's kind of hard with the camera because the camera is a little bit in the way, but let me just try it and drop there. Okay, I didn't hit the target at all, so I tr have to try again. Again, okay, come on, that is a really bad showcase. Give me a second. So, there we are. So I now hit here. There are like uh, three areas you can hit. The outer ring, which I just hit, the inner ring, and the bullseye. The outer ring, you receive two damage, the inner ring, one damage, the bullseye, you receive no damage. So I will hit the outer, so I will receive two damage. So I'm now down to six HP. Um, and also, um, I hit a shaded, like one of these uh, dark areas here, right? These shaded areas, and then I have to resolve that effect. But as I said, that effect does not apply to me. So we defeated the enemy. Okay, and now I'm back to six HP, so I definitely need to heal up a little bit. So I will just move one over here two down here and two here so i get another hp so i'm now back to seven and i will also receive a goal so i'm now at 44. that is pretty good and i will just um fix the exposure a little bit give me a second all right that is it and that is now where we are and now the cool thing is i will now choose to go back there and there and the cool thing is if you go to um on on spots that you have already been they don't count as additional spots later on for these stars here i will show you later how that works so i can actually just backtrack and i will go here then so i'm now here that is a new um, area and then i will go up here just so that i can get this double heart right so i'm back no, now I'm at full HP, actually. I'm at nine. Um, I still, uh, that's really bad. I don't have a remedy. There is like an item called remedy um, that will remove a status effect. I can't remove that status effect. So these are gonna be really, really um, dangerous because they can, if I'm unlucky, they can um, uh, do five damage to me. That is a lot because two damage for the outer ring. And if I hit here, then I get three additional damage because I have that status sting, right? That is tough. And these guys here, um, they just do regular damage, but they they do two extra damage if I hit one of these, these here. So these are actually better at the moment than these. So I think I will, do I need that gold? Not really, I think I will just go around here. I don't really need that gold at the moment, that one gold. I have a lot of gold, so I will just go here, then up here. Um, and that's one thing I will talk about um, a little bit later, because you can actually kind of choose like whether you want to battle or not, if you want to get gold or not, right? You can choose all of that pretty well, to be honest. Okay, so now we're up here. Um, let me see. Um, there's, I don't need that heart. There is some gold here, but I really don't want to fight this guy at the moment. I really don't. Um, and I don't need, well, that pixie dust, I don't need that um, either because I already have two, but I could get a third one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna go up here, quickly get that uh, pixie dust. Um, so we now have a third one, so we can just heal for two HP three times. That is pretty good. And then I don't know why I would fight that guy over there. So I'm just gonna track, backtrack down, go here. And then I would go here and I can move up to four, right? But if there's an enemy in the way, I need to stop on that, on that spot. So now we fight the centaur. So uh, let's see how good we are. Oops, that was too far. Yeah, the camera is a little bit in the way. There we are, okay. I received two damage again and I hit that Pierce ability. So we received four damage. So I'm down to five now. Oh, that is not all too good. Um, then we have these orc hunting traps here. These are just regional. I think they're not everywhere, but here in the area seven of the grasslands, there are some. And um, if I go oh, up, up all the way over there, I have to stop there and then I have to aim here and if and unshaded 
rings, like these white ones, they cause one damage, right? Um, so I just, I would then start here and then go down to that ring here. Um, so I definitely want that. You see like this double heart up here, right? That is a max heart, I think it's called. Um, that means if I, I get one health just for the normal hearts, but I also raise my max HP. I definitely want to get that. So I am going to go over here and then I'm gonna go four spaces up here. So now I have a max health of 10. I will just write that below here and also get one HP back. But we are in these eight surrounding squares of that crab guy, so we will have to fight that crab guy. And the problem is that now we have a surrounding water space. We might take extra damage. Oh, actually there are three water spaces. So we might, we could take a lot of damage. Okay, so that's one damage I get, and I didn't hit the shaded ones. It was close, but I didn't. So um, I actually only get one damage. That is good. So I'm down to five. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back down here and here just to pick up that gold. Oh no, actually, uh, let me do, let me use the eraser for now. I would actually go all the way over here like this. Um, get another gold, so I'm now at 47. That is a lot of gold. We might, I might exchange actually my, my healing staff for another weapon at some point. You see there are two spots here, just in case you change something, but um, you can only have three items or one weapon, right? That's all you can have. And status you can only get rid of if you either have that remedy potion or if you visit a physician um, in a village. Okay, so, and then I will go three down here to get that key. So let me just write that down. That doesn't count as an item, the key. The key is like an extra thing. And then I will go over here to get my two HP heart, right? The one I prepared at the start of this session. And then let me see, actually I don't want, I might need that heart after I fight that enemy here. But two, three, doesn't really matter. I will go here. And then I will go, because I might then easier get that heart, and then I will go down here for that chest. And the chest, now I can open it because I have the key, right? So I'm using the key. And now I started the chest and I aim in the, uh, I aim here again. And for the, here in the middle, I get 10 gold, and then I get two gold less for each ring, right? So 10, eight, six, four, and two. So um, let's get some gold. Ah, uh, that is, mm, that is on the, uh, it's just like on the edge of these two circles, but I'm gonna take the outer one. I think I'd rather hit that one. So that's 10, eight, that's six gold. Okay, so that is 53, a lot of gold. I bought like that healing staff pretty early and like one uh, and some pixie dust. So I was able to save a lot of gold the past few areas. Okay, and now we have to fight that uh, Gigalex. Let's hope that um, I will not hit one of these shaded areas. Otherwise I will take four to five damage. All right, so let's look. Whoa, that is actually really good. Almost the bullseye, which would have been better, but this is like the inner ring, so only one damage and the unshaded area. Wow, so only one damage. That was really lucky. Okay, then we're gonna go up here. And you know, instead of going the regular route, I'm actually just gonna pick up that heart here. I mean, if I'm here, right, why not? So I'm back up to seven HP, that is pretty good. And then what I will do is just uh, backtrack like on these spots here, right there and there. And then here I will go up for, to cross over that arrow here. So we are done with the area. And that is how you play one of these areas. I hope I didn't forget anything. So, and now we are done, right? So now um, we actually came out with one more max HP and with one HP, like we started with six, now we have seven. We gained a lot of gold, 12 gold. We didn't get rid of our stats. And then um, we got another pixie dust and also we still have our healing staff. So we're doing pretty well at the moment. We're pretty stacked. Okay, so what happens now is now we take a look at all the baddies we defeated. That's how described in the book. And that's only one, two, three, four. Ah, I should have just defeated one more. 
then we would have had that five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Like so, if we defeated five batteries, then we can circle that first star. If we defeated eight, we can def uh, we can circle both stars. And if we defeated ten or more, we can defeat uh, circle all stars. These are just important for like the ranking at the very end of the adventure. But so I didn't get any of those. Um, how much health we lose here, right? If we lose, did we lose 14 health or less, 13 or less, 10 or less, right? So, um, so I lost two, six, seven, eight. I lost eight health, so I can circle all three because I got 10 or less. And then how many steps did we take? Like how often did we move? And now we don't count all these squares we covered, but we only count these we stopped on. And now you know why it's important to be able to distinguish those, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot today. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wow. Um, 24 or less is still the third star. So we get all three stars. Just one step more and we wouldn't have made it <laughs> that was really close so we got six of nine stars this area that's not too bad if you ask me um so and what we do now as usual um every time we transition someplace else then we always uh, also um, always like put our stuff here so we have 10 max hp we have seven hp at the moment we have 53 gold we are still we still have that sting status um and items we have pixie dust i will just do it like this times three and we still have our healing staff okay and now we have a boss fight um i've already just glanced at the boss fight i've actually not um defeated a boss yet um, I wanted to do that like as a premiere on the channel. So why don't we take a look at that together? So we see here we have the boss HP and here we have the map. We start over here. Unfortunately, there are no hearts on the map. So that is going to be tough, but I do have three pixie dust. So I think we're doing okay. I don't know what I, what I just did with my figure here. Like this. Okay. So, um, there is like gold to get and these traps are very important because these tra traps can also hurt the the ogre here right so that is pretty important yeah and this fight is going to be pretty tough because um we can just deal damage to the ogre just like we always do right we then aim from the ogre wherever, wherever he is to that to to here um and then we will have to record damage for us but we will also do one damage to the orc but you see like the orc has much more HP. So without healing, we will not be able to really win because I will not hit the bullseye every time. We do have three pixie dust and I can also lure the boss into these traps because these traps um, actually do one, deal one damage to the orc, right? But also damage to me. So I also shouldn't uh, go into these these traps. And that is pretty much it. And we um, we when we when we defeat the orc, when we cross off the last heart, of the boss's HP, then we win the fight. And then we have defeated the fight, we can continue. Um, and then we also raise our max HP by two, which is really nice. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So what will we do? So every time after every time we move, then the orc will move one, zero to four spaces to where we are, right? One, two, three, four, one, two. You know what, let's just start like hurling the ogre right i think i will start if uh like hurling the ogre head on get that key and then go down here and maybe we can then lure the ogre in a few traps i always say ogre it's an orc it's like fluffles the orc warrior okay so you know what uh, let me just move uh, three or four doesn't really matter well actually if we just move one then one two three four that is that is a thing i will just move one that's it and now the orc will move zero to four steps to get as close to us as possible. So one, two, three, four, it will move over here. And the orc I will note with a circle so we know where the orc is. I think that is pretty good. And then I will move over here so we get the coins here. 
so normally if you have this stack of coins you would also do it like you did like you did here with the treasure chest aim here and then we get um a specific amount of coins depending on where we land right um this is not the case here here we will just get five gold for that right so we just get five gold so we are now at 58 okay and the orc will move in a straight line and it will just move back here to be as close to us as possible so now we initiate combat that works the same way so we go here the orc and then we aim down here so let's just aim blindly okay that didn't hit the target so let's do that again okay that was really stupid let's do it again there we go so we had don't have a shaded area which is good um but we receive one damage so we're down to six hp but the boss also loses one okay that went better than i thought um what will i do now well uh oh let me explain the panic one right so let's say i hit a shaded area here and um, for the org that means that next turn we need to aim from our location um on the panic grid and that is the direction we have to move in right so let's say um let's say i did hit one of those then i would have to move uh, aim here and now i could only move right for example right okay so one two three four let me just move down here and the orc will just follow us all right another fight oh no that is bad okay so we receive two damage the orc receives one and now we have the panic status but we will not put it in here because this is not a permanent status you see permanent status statuses they have like these two lines of the left and right that's not the case here so okay now we need to aim on the panic grid and we can only move right well then i guess we will move one right and the orc will move down here so another battle okay that was too far well i'm a lot closer to the thing now okay so we receive two damage again the orc also received this one and we have that panic thing again so let's see okay we can only move in the binder here uh there we go only move uh, that is left yeah we can only move left so into the orc that is great you know what i will have to use one of my pixie pixie dusts here to heal back up to hp i don't know if we can actually win that fight right Ooh. i don't know so orc let's fight again because the orc will move one to four spaces and yeah well we'll just move one uh, zero okay that was good so we receive only one damage the orc also receives one i don't quite understand how you can win that fight without uh these healing potions right because one two three four five six seven eight there's only eight traps yeah it's kind of tough to actually defeat the orc that way right because i can still heal for four right yeah it's kind of hard to defeat him because he can't always hit the bullseye i don't know okay so let me how can yeah, he's so close now how can i how, how can i lure him into the traps is that possible yeah i actually do have an idea so let me move four into that direction here Oh, I forgot to take the key. Oh, oh no. Well, we'll have to see. And then the orc follows us here, right? So we have another battle. Okay, that is two damage again. Oh, uh oh, one HP left. And we also have that panic grid. Okay, I really want to move down. So let's hope that I can move down. That is incredible. I can actually move down. That is wonderful because now i will move down let's let's move down three and now the orc can only go in a straight line to get as close to us as possible right so either the orc would move here or the orc would move here 
right? And both would be two apart from our from our location. So we can decide where we move the org, right? So I will move the org straight down here. That means the org receives one damage by walking into the trap. And now it's a little bit hard for the org because it will still have to somehow follow us, right? Um, actually, I think that's not cheating, but I think I would have moved one extra down here. One, two, three, four, right? Okay. So what I will also do is I will use my pixie dust to heal up to three again because I don't want to get one shot by the by the boss. Okay, the boss is halfway down, but we are almost dead as well. But we can still heal a little bit, so let's just try to do that with the traps now. So what I will do is uh, what will I do? If I move three here, then the org will move over there to get him into the into the trap here, I would have to move zero, but I can't do that. I think what I will do, I will move all the way to the left here, because now the org needs to move in a straight line. There's terrain, right? So one, two, three, he would be closer if he moved on the trap. So that's what the org will do. So another, so that trap is deactivated and another damage for the org. Okay, cool. So I'm now doing pretty okay, actually, because the org is far enough away. So what I will do, I will just move four over here. And the org is close to me if he walks back here. Yeah. So the org is back there again. Okay, so let's see. Can I somehow get the org here on this trap or that one? I think this is what I can do. I will move over here four spots and the orc will also move here and then i will move two over here i will pick up these five gold in the meantime 63 and the orc can now move there or there and both are the same distance so i will choose to move him there and then i will move one up here now that orc will move closer to us, but it needs to stop on the trap, right? So it will receive another damage. Okay, so the orc needs three more damage, and then we are fine. The problem is we have three plus two. We have max maximum of five health. Two, four. Yeah, we at least once we need to hit the, hit the bullseye or twice the one HP thing. Otherwise, we will probably lose. But let's try to win this fight. Because the orc is now one adjacent to us, so we need to fight. So, let's see. Oh, that's so lucky. I can't believe it. So I received two damage. The orc also receives a damage. I will use my pixie dust now to heal back up to four. Okay, so what I will do now is, now I will move one back down. So I'm now here again and the orc will follow me right there. Okay, so another fight. I'm really lucky at the moment, and I promise I'm not looking. So that is another, just one damage for me. And the orc also receives one. So now I can just fight the orc. It doesn't matter where I hit, right? Because I have three HP, but I want to do something cool. I'm going to move four into that direction here, right below that trap. The orc can also move, only move in a straight line. So it will move four spaces here to be as close to us as possible. It will run into the trap, which will destroy him. Ta-da! <laughs> so, um, yeah, we <laughs> defeated the orc. So we get two max HP, and that's it. So we actually defeated Fluffles, which is a really cute name, the orc warrior. Um, yeah, that's it. We defeated him, but only with three HP left, and only because I had all that pixie dust. I otherwise wouldn't have won. But that's why I collected a lot of that stuff and kept it. Okay, and what we do now is, now you see, now I can show you how training and the in and everything works, right? That is um, like every two or three areas, I think, um, you come to like the in physician items, weapon shop, training, all that stuff. So let me just put 12 HP in here as max HP, and we still have three HP left. We have 63 gold. We still have that sting status which is good so i can show you how that works we don't have any items and we do have our 
healing stuff. And the items here, oh, there's an, there is um, an expensive item, but I somehow like my healing stuff. I think it's pretty good. So I don't know yet, let's see. So um, so first we can do training. That means I choose a target, like the, the one that's farther away costs less, the other one more. And if I, I can then aim from my location, and if I hit the target, any place, doesn't matter where, then I gain one max heart, like one maximum HP here. So I think I will do that. I do have a lot of gold. Usually I try to do it with the two gold and then I have to do it like three, four, five times. But I think like the seven gold will be easier. So let me just spend seven gold. So I have now 56 left. Um, I will have to put it here because the camera is in the way. And then let's try to hit that. We did. So um, we get one additional HP. So we now have 13 max HP, that is great. And honestly, we could do it again, but I wanna keep some of my money, so I will leave it. So now the inn, pay one gold for each HP healed up to your maximum, right? Um, so we are missing 10 HP, so I will pay 10 gold. I will do that to be up to maximum HP, 13. And then we have like the physician, pay one gold for each status effect healed. We will do that as well. So I'm down to um, 45 gold because I will get rid of Sting. So we did er everything. We did training in Physician and now the item shop. There's a remedy that we can buy for two gold, cure any single status effect. I think it's not bad to have one of those. So I think I will buy one of those because something like Sting would really mess me up again. So let us buy a remedy. Cure all would cure all status effects, but usually I have only one that I need to cure, that's fine. And liquid armor, I don't know that one yet, that's a new one. Three gold, prevent any damage taken the next time you aim at an enemy target. Hmm, that could be helpful, but I do have my healing staff still. The weapon shop, the outer light sword, 15 gold. When entering a new area, draw a heart on unshaded regions of each enemy target's outer ring. And that um, would just reduce my the damage I take in those regions by one. Um, and then we have the Void Staff for 20 gold. When entering a new area, draw an X on one shaded region of each enemy target. Enemy abilities are negated in those regions. That's too RNG for me, and that is also a little bit RNG. Inner Darkness Bow, I saw that one before. That is pretty similar to that one. Just um, instead of the outer ring, you use the inner ring. I don't want any of those. I'm gonna keep my Healing Staff for now, so we are done here. So now we continue and we are now in the new in the new zone, the wilderness. So we have new rules here, new regional rules. So we look um, how does uh, how does the movement work and um, what are with the what happens with the treasure chest, but that doesn't change. And here now we have the first area, area eight, in the wilderness. And you see, we actually have new enemies here that work a little bit different. So now let's do that. So we have max 13 HP. We have 13 HP at the moment. Gold, we have 43. Status none, we have one remedy. And we have the healing staff. So now we are ready for the next zone, right? For the next area. Um, but I will not continue playing, but because you, you now saw, you saw one area, you saw a boss and you saw here that. So you pretty much saw everything um, that can happen in the game. Of course, there are more uh, more enemy status effects and stuff that can happen here, as you can see. Like there's new items and all of that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be quite exciting. One more thing I wanna show you is we finished the we finished the, um, the, the wildlands here, right? So at uh, the grasslands, I mean. So what we do is um, now we take all of these seven areas here we were in and we count all the stars we got and we put them here in the, at the front right so i actually understood that wrong at the beginning i thought this would be for each single area but no you do it for the entire zone for the entire grasslands right and um, you get that all the way so um let's see how many baddies like how many stars we got for the baddies so that's zero two three Six, seven, ten. Only ten in seven areas, that is not a lot. 
Then the hearts, I think I'm much better with those. How much health we lost? Three, six, nine. Yeah, much better there. 12, 15, 18, 21. That is actually the perfect score. You can't have more than 21. And the distance traveled, I think it's not quite 21, but it's quite good as well. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 13, 16, 18. 18 of 21, that is pretty good as well. And these scores, um, these will be then added at the end of the game. I can just quickly show you here. You can like uh, see how many stars you got um, for each of those categories. And then you get like a title that you can put at the end, right? Um, yeah. So that was my little showcase of Pocketbook Adventures by Grumpy Spider games right there um so again thank you for the preview copy so uh what do i think about the game so first of all this game has such a small format and there are no dice needed just this small book and a pen you don't even need a pencil necessarily since nothing really needs to be erased right so you can just take yeah pretty much just a regular pen if you want to right um, I also like the look with this natural cardboard here. That is really great. It doesn't have to, need to be shinier. I like this quite a lot, really. The rules are still prototypes, but are pretty well written. I actually had access to like some corrected rules um, in digital format, but um, they are well written already. Uh, the game is easy to get into and understand. Um, but then again, the game is quite challenging, but it's great that you can choose your own path. Um, so it's nice that the stars and enemies are not really mandatory, right? So you can just focus on surviving first and other things second. Um, I like this simple layout and art style. It looks really good and isn't overloaded. That is great. Um, also, the game offers a lot of different mechanisms with different enemies and movement rules. That really keeps the game fresh. Still, it is more of the same when you continue playing, even if a few things change. So either you really love this gameplay or you just play it in short bursts, which I, that's what I usually do. Um, the game is also quite luck driven, except if you're really good at estimating distances blindly. I'm not. So <laughs> the game is more about chance, at least for me. But I don't mind that terribly since you only lose gold when you die and get healed back to full HP. This game is very forgiving at that sense. But if you just don't enjoy this gameplay of aiming here blindly and then you always like hit the shaded areas, you always lose HP and you can't do anything against it because you're unlucky. Well, then this game might not be for you. But as I said, it is really forgiving um, uh, when you die because I think you only have your gold, you even lose negative status and that's it. And then you just start to continue. I think you only lose gold. So yeah, you can just continue pretty much, right? So it is really forgiving it uh, in that sense. Um, also two other things, um, like the, you need to know what your items do, right? Because you only see that either when you can pick them up by chance <laughs> in the same area, or you see it right he just here um, in the items and weapons shop, right? Um, so you need to remember what they do. And because there is no, unfortunately, at least not, not um, as of this moment, there is no like overview over all items and weapons you can get. That is something that I would really like um, that there is just like another two or three pages, whatever is necessary to fit all in there where all items and weapons are listed. Um, I think that would be a really good thing. You could also do it, put it in the back if you don't want it in the rules because you don't want to spoil people, that is fine. Um, but that's one thing I really would, would add. The second thing is it's um, so far, it's a, um, there is no real character you have, right? So it would be cool to have something like that title thing at the end. Oh, let me not spoil too much here. So, um, uh, like the title card here, right? Like you are the hero's name. It would be cool to have something like at the very beginning where you could say um, you are, and then I don't know, Sir Sir Thakos the Great, <laughs> I don't know. Um, or if you watch my unboxing videos, probably Sir Thakos the Clumsy would work better. And then maybe you could have like little um, a little square for like drawing a character in there, right? That would be really cool as well. So, um, 
that's like two things I would add. And I think the last thing that I would have liked is just something very small, but I really, really enjoy like these outlines of the enemies. I think the style is great. As I said, this I like the simplicity of it. It's cool. Um, but unfortunately, there was no silhouette for the boss. I mean, this is like a huge fight, right? You saw how long it took, how tactical it was, how difficult it also was. And I would have just enjoyed like seeing like the, uh, the orc here, right? That would have been really cool. But um, yeah, all in all, I thoroughly enjoy this game. It's perfect for just putting out if you just have a few minutes. This book is small, um, really small, and you can bring it pretty much anywhere. And I guess you always have a pen or something similar on you, right? Um, and if not, you ask someone for a pen. I mean, a pen is easier to carry around than a die, right? Or a set of dice. I like its simplicity regarding material, art style, and rules. Um, and if you like dungeon crawling experiences and small game packages, um, then this game might be just for you. As usual, I will put a link to the project page in the description of this video, so you can set a reminder now and check it out when it goes live next week. All right, thank you so much for watching in case you're still doing so. I highly appreciate it. Um, you made it to the very end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by liking and commenting. You can also keep up to date with my content by subscribing. And if you want to hang out with me in my community, you can do so by joining my Discord server. I'd love to welcome you over there. All right, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.